it's been really tough since COVID because employers also have a number of different challenges they didn't have before. So they've had to make up the, the, the loss of revenue. They've had to make up for being short staffed now because people are jumping ship and they have jumped ship. So what's the context of what happens after the event? So if somebody jumps ship, then that makes their employee workmate quite miserable because then they have to do all the work and there's nobody to fill it. Yeah. So you know, there, are, there's, there are so many reasons for being miserable. I don't think just jumping into anything else is the answer for it. And I don't think there's necessarily one person to blame. No. Janet? Yeah, I mean, I think there are loads of reasons for people being unhappy in their jobs. I guess what I've learned through 25 years of working in Big Pharma before I jumped ship and went and worked and right now in my own business is that if you're not happy, do something about it. You know, because what's the worst that can happen? Um, you know, there are always jobs out there to be had. And if you don't like the first one you go into, then go and try something else. I guess having survived as a travel business through COVID and having survived the rather unpleasant situation of being got rid of through redundancy or whatever you like to call it, it's made me realise that actually there's other things out there and you only get one life. So go live it.